Hey everyone, Ed from Elk Electronic here and I'd just like to give you a quick overview in this video of our new MIDI utility MIDI Mute. Um, as you can see it has full size MIDI DIN in and out. Uh, it also has USB coming in which you can use uh, to act on the MIDI channels. You can mute um, signals coming from and back to your door. Uh, you can use it as a USB MIDI interface. It does also have an external foot switch which I haven't connected for this demonstration but it mirrors the front panel switch. Uh, I like to use MIDI mute as the first thing uh, in my hardware setup after uh, my sequencer. So I'm using the DigiTact here for my sequencing control of hardware. I've got a couple of synths and drum machines in the rack which is going out to after MIDI mute. So I'm going to give you a bit of a demonstration today. Um, we use this rotary controller to select the MIDI channels we're acting on. When you rotate uh, it will indicate via the LED if that channel is included in the mute group or not. So at the moment most of them will be which is indicated by blue but if we keep scrolling there's a channel that was indicated by yellow so channel 11 is not in the mute group. When the LED is green it's going to pass everything from the MIDI in to the MIDI out. Uh, when you press a short press on the switch it will change to red and we're going to mute things that are in the mute group or mute channels that are in the mute group. So we saw that channel 11 is not in the mute group so channel 11 will pass whether or not it's green or red but everything else um, in this example yeah everything else is in the mute group so when I press it and toggle to red it's going to mute everything. So I'm using that like a solo in this case I just want to solo that channel 11 you're going to hear in the example that um, yeah, channel 11 is my base, so I'm going to solo that channel. Um, doesn't matter where the knob is for this to happen, but let's just have a listen to the sequence to start with. So it's green, it should pass everything if I hit play. And if now if I want to solo that bass line, I'm just going to press the button once. You can hear it's chopped out everything else. Channel 11 wasn't in the mute group, um, so it has left that one in place. We can pull things in and out in real time. So on channel 13 I've got just sort of a bell sound on the synth. Right now it's muted. If I want to remove it from the mute group altogether I can do that in real time. So to do that I'm going to hold down the switch. And so now I've introduced that back in without the drums because the drums are still covered by the mute group. When I press it a short press again we're going to go green and let everything back through and we'll get our drums back. So that's a short example of the basic functions of MIDI Mute. Uh, there's a bunch of ways in which you can use this. It can be a useful tool if you're a gigging keyboardist and you've got multiple keyboards. Uh, you may be familiar with something more like this, which is an old school sort of toggle switch, kill the MIDI you know, signal. Um, there's a couple of pitfalls in this, which is you're acting on all 16 MIDI channels at once. And if you toggle between a note on and a note off, the note will hang. So there's a bit of a pitfall there as well. Uh, so MIDI Mute um, deals with those issues and um, doesn't have hanging notes. As you can hear, it's quite robust. Um, and so that gives you a lot more flexibility in the extra features we've got here as well. Uh, if you want to leave things on a tabletop like this and control things from the floor so your hands are free to play or those sort of things, you can use the external foot switch. Uh, like I said before, uh, the USB interface can also be used with a door. But if you'd like more information, check it out on the website. Uh, it's available for sale now on the website as well. Uh, I'd love to see what you come up with this and see how it fits into your hardware setup. Cheers.